integrate the cosine of pi over x divided by x squared. So the natural thing to do, or to try to do, is to let u be what's inside this cosine function. So we'll let u be equal to pi over x. So even if you don't see the solution right away, it's always a really good first attempt. You know, let, let u be like your inside function. So in order to take this derivative, uh, we need to rewrite this. We can bring the x upstairs. So we can write this as pi x to the negative 1. Okay, now we're in a good place and we can take the derivative. So du is equal to, so the pi hangs out because it's a constant, and then you take the negative and you put it in the front. So this is negative pi x to the, and then you just subtract one from the exponent, right? That's the power rule. And then we put our dx here. Okay, we can bring this downstairs. So we have du equals negative pi times 1 over x squared dx. So we have the uh, 1 over x squared, right? It's in the problem. What we don't have is the negative pi. So let's get rid of it by dividing both sides by negative pi. Right, the goal is to make this look like what's in our integral. So because there's no negative pi in our integrand, we, we divide by it, right? We want to make it look like what's here. So now we have negative 1 over pi du equals 1 over x squared dx. And now you see this matches what's in our integral, right? We have 1 over x squared dx, 1 over x squared dx. Let's make the substitution now. So we can replace that with negative 1 over pi, let's pull it out, and then du. So we've just replaced, you know, this. Now we're left with cosine. Of, and then we said the inside of cosine was u, so pi over x is u. All right, now we got this, right? We have to integrate cosine. So just think backwards. What's a function whose derivative is cosine? Well, the derivative of sine is cosine. So this is negative 1 over pi times the sine of u. And then don't forget the plus c. So this is equal to negative 1 over pi. And then the sine of u, well, u is just pi over x. So this is the sine of pi over x. And then we have our plus C right there. Beautiful stuff. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.